This old man here with the first of at least four instructional videos on my experiences with the iClone to Lightwave workflow. I call these instructional videos and not tutorials because uh, I'm going to show you not how to do things specifically such as this is how you render an automobile or this is how you do this specific visual effect. This is just showing you how I got iClone to work in my Lightwave workflow. What you'll need if you want to follow along is iClone 5.5, 3D Exchange Pipeline 5.5, and Lightwave 11.5, although I assume this will work in 9.6 and higher. You will notice as I go through these instructional videos a couple of things. First, that the system that I am using is my office computer. It's nothing special. It's an AMD Athlon 2 gigahertz processor. I've got only 2 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit operating system, no special video display. This is my office computer that I use just basically to do emails. Uh, on the workstations, they're a little bit more robust, so if you're using a workstation that has resources that are higher than this, then you'll have no problems at all because I have no problems. The only thing that you'll also see me do is I will close out resources as I am done with them. I also will not launch programs from scratch. I'll have them pre-launched, but I will not load anything or have anything pre-loaded. So when I discovered I had to incorporate iClone into my Lightwave workflow, I searched the net and this old man found absolutely no information on how to incorporate the two programs or how to use the two programs together. And the only thing I saw on the Realusion site was the Lightwave logo stating that, yeah, it's compatible and to an extent it is compatible, but there were no tutorials on it. So this old man said, hey, let's get something out there. So here it is. Another thing you'll notice is that I am using the Lightwave Discovery version, which is the 30-day trial version. And I'm using it because I'm using my office computer to do these things. I'm not using my workstation. Once we get into instructional video 3 and 4, which... Uh, covers BVH and FBX. I do suspect that the Nevron Motion plugin for Lightwave 11.6 is going to be the way that those who wish to use iClone to Lightwave as I do will be able to fully realize the proper export of uh, motions and characters. Whether we use motion capture in iClone and apply it to Lightwave characters or we just want to export everything that we have in iClone and use it in Lightwave. So if anybody has any suggestions, any further expertise on how to make this workflow from iClone to Lightwave easier, better, more efficient, please feel free to post your instructions and your tutorials to the Realusion forums board or the New Tech Lightwave forums board so that we can all help each other out because this old man needs all the help he can get. In fact, right now, this old man needs a nap. So I will see you again in the first of the instructional videos and how to export an OBJ file to Lightwave.